to my channel. So we're just gonna ignore all of this. I wasn't gonna get dressed up for this. I'm doing nothing today, but just testing out a new liquid lipstick that I got in the mail. I know that everybody's been talking about liquid lipsticks and how great they are and how they can change your life. And you know, they're just everything you've ever wanted. So I had to get myself a couple of them. I've already done a review on one so far and I really, really like that one. That's gonna come up first. And let's just talk about my background. I know it looks like all boring or whatever, but the sun is trying to keep me from living my life and being the best YouTuber that I can be. So we're gonna go ahead and just switch up my angles a little bit. I hope that you don't mind for this particular video. So today I'm gonna to be testing out the new Celebrity Skin Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star. Everybody and they mama, everybody and they mama love this lipstick. So I'm really hoping that this is going to be everything I've ever wanted as well. Like I said before, this is in the color Celebrity Skin. I love the bright pink packaging. I love the stars on it. If it's pink, I don't care. I'm gonna love it. Ooh, it came, ooh, sorry. Sneak peek of the next liquid lipstick. It just came in this fabulous little um, pink packaging thing. I love the, you know, packaging. I think it came with a card, but I don't, oh yeah, there it is. And then it has like the Jeffree Star card on it. I know some people got a handwritten card. Where's my handwritten card? Where is it? Mm. It has unicorn blood on it and celebrity skin. Um, this celebrity skin on the picture looks really light. I'm really hoping that it's not that light. This lipstick was a total of $23. The lipstick itself was $18 and then shipping was $5.95. Hmm, it's really interesting. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, almost dropped it. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh my God. I'm so, it's so pretty. Look at that. Let's take a moment. Okay. Oh, this is cute. It looks like a pinky based brownie nude color. I'm into it so far. So I'm really feeling the packaging. It has, oh, the little label on it. It's like bright pink as well. Celebrity skin. It has like the rose gold writing on it. I love the rose gold. Um, I was about to say flowers. Mm. <laughs> rose gold stars on it. I love the pink. It's beautiful. I love packaging. And um, I'd say this is a little bit far-fetched from the advertisement, which is always so annoying because that is way off of what it actually looks like, right? It's closer to this one than that one. Anyway, so mm, we need to go from this to this. Mm, that's better, right? I hope so. Cause girl, I was looking real rough just now. Woo! Okay, so I'm using a lip liner with it just because it is a little bit light. It's not gonna go with my skin tone naturally, so I'm gonna need a little help. This is just Kokomo by Milani. This is one of my favorites, y'all already know. So let's go. So I did it so it's not like a super hard line of lip liner so it shouldn't disturb the lip stick too much okay has a nice seal on it lets me know it's closed i'm really feeling the doe foot applicator on it as you can see it kind of has like this it's a typical doe foot but it kind of scoops in a little bit as you can see there and i really feel like that helps hold the product so it's a nice little dollop of product a little messy but that's okay. So let's try it out. It smells a little weird. It's pretty though. Can't get over the smell. It's just different. So that was one little dip. And I think that's pretty good. It went on pretty even. This is what it looks like on my complexion. It's starting to dry already. I can't get over the smell. What is that? It's like chemically like, 
I don't know. It's weird though. It doesn't necessarily smell bad. Like it, ew, 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 that stink. It's definitely a smell I've never smelled before. I don't, I can't even describe it. Like I don't even know what that smells. It's kind of like chemically, but kind of citrusy, kind of vanilla-y. It's too much. I think it's still drying a little bit kind of in here. I will say that it does go into the lines a little bit more than my last one did. This formula is a little bit, it's not runny at all to me, but it's not necessarily creamy. That makes sense, not like the Sephora one. I like that it only took one dip to cover my big old lips, you know, so I'm into it so far. It meshed really well with my lip liner. I don't feel like, you know, it looks crazy, so we'll see how it goes for the rest of the day. I'm gonna take you guys with me everywhere. I'm gonna be chilling around the house for a little while, cleaning up, and then I'm gonna do some editing and probably go out for a little bit. So, uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay. Uh. Another Nick No Banger. pretty well I don't really like this situation here I'm not a fan of that I didn't have to do that deal that much with the Sephora one but other than that it's pretty good um I can definitely tell I have a liquid lipstick on for sure uh, my lips are a little bit dry um, and I only say that because I can definitely feel it, at least with the Sephora one. I wasn't, I completely forgot I had it on at one point. So I am able to feel kind of like the tightness where you can definitely see the lines in my lips. And as you guys saw earlier, I did have um, a lip balm on. So my lips are moisturized. Um, it's just this um, liquid lipstick. But other than that, I like that it's still on. I like that, um, I, really, I really like the color still. It's a little bit drying, but not too severe to the point where I just have to take it off right now. So we'll see what it does towards the end of the day. Not a fan of this again, but 
you know, that's kind of expected with lipsticks. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'll see you guys after I eat. This is what the lipstick still looks like. I'll see you guys in a moment. So I just got done eating lunch and I'm surprised that it's still pretty much on there. It definitely kind of came off on my bottom lip, but for the most part, it's still there. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Then again, I wasn't eating something super oily and I wasn't eating super sloppy. So, hmm. I think, hmm? Hmm? was anyone going to tell me this was there? Was anyone going to tell me? No? Okay, cool. Uh, I can't get it out. Help me. So yeah, it's still pretty much on there. It still kind of has like a slight, not sticky, but just a little tacky. I think that's like their moisturizing ingredient that's still making a little bit like sticky, but I don't mind it. I'm going to put another layer on. So I'm applying my second layer. Don't really need to, but just to see, I just like to see, I can't get over that smell. It's like a bubble gummy, minty, I don't know. Do a little lipstick trick to see maybe if that will help with the lines in here. I never did a kiss test. Ugh. What? Ain't nothing on there. That's a good sign. Hmm. Probably better than what I thought it was going to be. I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the night. Bye. Grandma said. How does she do them? If you know how to do it, just tell me. What do you think I'm gonna do? Okay, I need your opinion. Please, we all do. Help us. What does it smell like to you? What does it smell like? Yes. Smell it. You know? Well, the, I thought they said that when smell it. What bad peppermint? <laughs> I was gonna. It did have a peppermint. That's a minty smell. It does. But it doesn't smell clean and fresh like mint or peppermint smell. It smells like. It's like it smells like scope gone bad. Really. You heard her, Jeffrey. 
Shoot. It smells like a mint that has gone. Like gone kind of. Uh, yeah, that's why I said it was kind of the chemical y that. smell. Daddy. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, smell it. Yeah. What does it smell like? He didn't even smell it. I smelled it. He didn't smell nothing. Like I'd be afraid to use it. Like, <laughs> well, it's on me. Well, this is what the result. This I've been ha I've had it since 10:30. So what? And again, it's on me. I mean, it looks good. It feels dry. Yeah, you like the the. It does thing. look like dry. Yeah, like when you're you're when you got a mat and your lips look good, but then it's like, oh god, all the way dry. Yeah, so you heard it from my mom, guys. It smells like old peppermint. It does smell like. But I have to but agree. I don't know turpentine. Exactly. What's that? Turpentine. It's like this old back in the day. If y'all heard of oh, turpentine. You know, like, well, they used to call it like this is what it smells like. But of course, you guys don't know about it. Oh like, my god. An ointment. They used to call it liniment. Like when you had sore muscles. They would rub it in your so something like old school Bengay, mm. but like with a minty and it was like a turpentine. Hmm, that's interesting. Turpentine puts you in the mind frame of you ever smell tree sap? Yeah. Being boiled down? No. <laughs> you. Well, but you know how like it smells when you get it on. That has an yeah. undertone of like tree sap. Yeah. That piney. Yeah. That. Look I think piney, piney is better, but I do I do smell it though in that mint. But like a piney mint. Yeah, it's like very. A, but it's also mixed in with kind of a chemical smell too. Yeah, it's so mixed in with like that, what you would expect mint. Almost like a black licorice. Yeah. That type of like a a mint. But an undertone of like a root beer black licorice yeah. smell. I the, the root beer. That root beer and yeah. black. If you would have taken root beer and black licorice and lay it over mm -hmm. mint, lay mint over that, mm -hmm. that's what it smells like. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that one, guys. And then when you got close, I saw how dry your lips were. Exactly. Look like a dry sponge. You're terrible. Hi guys! So I'm back again to do my final check-in before I take off all of this beat. I am uh, done for the day. It is 10 minutes until 6 in the evening. So looking at the lips, this go around after I put on a second layer, it does seem like it has kind of wiped off a little bit more on the bottom lip, but I can still kind of like feel it a little bit. And then my top is still pretty intact. But, um, yeah, I can still feel it on my lips, but the, I guess the pigmentation of it is pretty much gone. Um, it's just like a dried layer of, you know, kind of like a tint. Oh, was this on my nose the entire time? No one told me? Oh, I'm a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. So... All in, I mean, the second layer, it lasted pretty well, but I definitely will say that my lips were very, very dry. They are pretty dry still. I mean, the lipstick has kind of a, I don't want to say the word moisturizing or creamy because it's definitely not like that, but it does have like some sort of tacky feeling to it. It's not too irritating, but it does kind of linger there all day. It has a very weird smell. I'm not even that particular about how products smell because they usually don't or I just usually don't pay attention to it but if I do there's a problem. <laughs> I don't like the smell. I don't. I really don't like it at all but I really like the packaging. It does get a little bit ooh, messy as you can see there but um, all in all it's not a terrible lipstick. Now for 20 some dollars, including tax, $18 original price, 20 some dollars for tax and shipping and stuff. It's definitely not worth it. I will definitely be sticking to my Sephora matte lip creams. I feel like they're a better texture um, and they last long as well, but they just don't do as much of the drying as this one does. I feel like my lips look really, really dry right now. I ain't never seen so many lines in my mouth. Never. 
and it's just it's upsetting it's upsetting it's just a really dried drying formula once i put on my second layer i could definitely tell my lips were really dry and they look dry so all in all it's a pretty color i love the packaging i love the letters on it and everything but for 26 dollars hell no it's not not worth it in my opinion i will definitely just be rocking my sephora matte lip creams more it's a better price i think they're only like 12 13 14 dollars or something like that um yeah that's about it guys that's pretty much all i have for you i'm still trying to figure out how to do the whole first impressions review you know i just want it to be informative for you guys but i also you know want it to be short and sweet to the point if I can. So if I missed anything, please don't forget to leave it in the comments and don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. And please share this with your friends because you know we're flaw free, we're fabulous, and we're always gonna strap on these basics. I love you guys, I'll talk to you later, bye.